Welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you the five things that I do so I love cleaning my house. So I actually enjoy housework. I'm not a full unicorn, my friends, but these are little tips and tricks that you can do to make it much more enjoyable. And this is a collaboration with Becky from A Place to Nest. Make sure you check out her video. I'm going to put a link in the description below. And we got the idea for this video from Love Meg. I love her channel and I really loved this video. I was so inspired. So I'm going to put a link to Meg's video as well. So here we go with the five things I do. So I love cleaning my home. The first thing I do that makes cleaning so much more enjoyable has the biggest impact is declutter. Now I know what you're thinking. This is a big undertaking, but I promise you, you are going to save so much time because when you have less clutter on your surfaces, it takes a fraction of the time to actually clean your home. I really like using a tidy tote. So the first thing I do before cleaning my home is I run around and I pick up all the clutter and I put it into my tidy tote to be put away later. I also make purging part of my regular weekly routine. When I come across clothes that are too small for the kids or something that we're not using on a regular basis, I immediately put it in our donation bin. You will be amazed at how quickly you can clean your house when it's really clutter free. Tip number two to actually loving cleaning your home is using a little aromatherapy. I love using cleaning products that smell amazing. It's definitely great. They have to work, but they also have to smell great. I don't know what it is, but when a cleaning product smells good, you want to keep going and keep using it. I really recommend Method. I love the smell of Method cleaners. Mrs. Myers. I've recently bought a whole bunch of Mrs. Myers cleaners. I love the smell, but probably my favorite is making my own. My kids really like this too. You know, you mix different essential oils together and make yourself a glass cleaner or a multi-purpose cleaner and they smell amazing and it really motivates you to keep going and cleaning more surfaces. I'm going to put a link below to my favorite recipes for your homemade DIY homemade cleaners. <sighs> you picked a good cleaner. Thank you, buddy. You made that smell awesome. It went on my hand. Do you want to go clean your room with it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Mom. No. Tip number three for loving cleaning my home is I use it as like an escape mommy time. So I throw on my giant headphones and I listen to an audiobook and I sort of zone out and listen to the book and just do this mundane cleaning and it doesn't feel so much as work as it does an escape. So I really recommend trying an audiobook. You can find them for free at your local library. You can actually get them online if you get an online library card and you can put them download to the you know any device and I really like the wireless headphones because I can move around my whole house and don't have to worry about having <laughs> something strapped to me. You know the girls work as a pocket though too. In a pinch, tuck it, tuck the Tuck your phone or your music player in your girls. And anyways, my point is an audiobook can really distract you from the crappy part of cleaning and you just sort of like zone out, listen to, to a great book. And it always motivates me to keep going because I want to know what happens next. Tip number four for loving cleaning your home is to do it daily. I'm serious, daily. A little daily swoosh and whoosh, a little daily like spray and, and wipe. I don't know what it is. It's because it's a routine, I guess, but it also means that nothing ever gets gross. It doesn't get so disgusting that you have to like scrub to get the rings off the bathroom or, you know, really clean hardened on gobs of toothpaste out of your bathroom. So I actually clean twice a day. I clean once in the morning and once at night. So the morning is like after breakfast, after the kids have totally destroyed the kitchen. I do a quick clean of the bathroom and the kitchen and any other surface. Maybe I'll like walk around and I'll just tidy or give things a quick wipe. I'll spray down the shower. This isn't like a huge clean. This is like a 15 to 20 minute clean twice a day. And that means I don't have to spend my Saturdays cleaning. I don't have to spend the weekends, you know, scrubbing toilets and stuff like that. And so I love it more. It's it's not like hour, hours and hours of a job that can seem really daunting. Instead, if you break it up into 15 or 20 minute chunks throughout the day, it's much more enjoyable. My final tip for loving cleaning your home is to remember to do it for yourself. 
nothing is worse than feeling like the maid of the family and feeling like you have to pick up after your kids or your husband or whoever's in your home and it can be really discouraging but if you remind yourself that you're doing this for you that you love having a clean home it's totally power of thought it really is so I remind myself I know I just cleaned the kitchen and the kids destroyed it in the morning but I'm the one who loves having a clean kitchen and I'm the one that that brings joy to so I look at it as a sort of gift to myself I don't look at it as like oh, I'm doing it for them or I'm cleaning up because of them I look at it as I'm doing this for me because I really love it we'd all love to have a family who pitches in and loves cleaning as much as we do or wants a clean house as much as we do but that's not always reality but that doesn't mean that we can't still love it and do it just for us so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you're feeling inspired to clean a little bit today and don't forget to check out Becky from a place to nest I'm gonna put the link to her video and we can find out the five tips that she does to love cleaning her home and if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button for more cleaning decorating organizing and DIY videos each and every week. So thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I had a couple of you recently ask about my clothing and if I could do like a try on video or something. Like that. That's never happening. <laughs> I never, I'm never doing a fashion video with you guys. Um, here's the truth about my fashion sense. I have none. I shop at one store and one store only and the reason is I like the clothes first of all and they go up to size 18 so I can totally be in denial about the fact that I'm ginormous and uh, I don't have to shop at a, at a fat people store. <laughs> I should be, but I don't want to. I feel like those clothes are so tenty. Um, I shop at Ricky's and literally everything I own is from Ricky's and I shop online because when you go to a store I swear, I pick up like one shirt and they're there. And they're like, can I start a change room for you? And they like try to take the shirt from you. <laughs> and they're like, I'm not gonna steal it, I promise. I just wanna hold on to it until I'm ready to try it on. But they take it from you and they put it in the change room. I'm sure there's some reason for that. Um, and then when you're in the change room, they are knocking on the door. I swear to you, like you haven't even got your pants off yet. <laughs> and they're like, is everything okay in there? And I'm just like, oh my god, this is so uncomfortable. I really hate you. Uh, please stop bugging me when I'm trying to get dressed. I don't enjoy it. I don't like anything about it. So I order online because I know my size. I love this store. The sizes are the same. Plus they run a size smaller, really. <laughs> I'm like a 14, 16 when really I'm a 16, 18. So that's another reason I love Ricky's. But I also love it because all their clothing are like polyester spandex mix. So I can like pick them up in a crumpled ball off the floor and put it on and it doesn't wrinkle or take them out of the dryer that I've forgotten to fold for like 1600 days and give it a shake and throw it on and it looks okay. So I love that st style of clothing and everything matches. So I can buy like one pair of pants and five different shirts that will all coordinate. Cause I'm really into colored pants right now. <laughs> like, which is like such an old lady. I know. I've seen like a lot of nursing home people that also like colored pants when I worked in a nursing home for five years and I'm pretty sure that's the only it's my style though I've had the same style forever so I love Ricky's I love that they ship to your door you can try it on at home you can just eventually venture back to return things hopefully I never have to return anything because if I really hate something I'll just like keep it <laughs> another at the mall I don't like going there um, I wish I could just ship them things back, <laughs> but sometimes it's okay to leave the house. So uh, when I do need to return something, I leave the house, but I, I buy things um, online. They have great sales. And so that's my style. That's, that's, that's everything I own is from there. And that's all I have to say about that. In case you were wondering, I'll see you next time.